water, that some veggies land, that literally dry. Flood is a major disaster in rural areas, such as the Niger Delta area. And the causes of flooding are excessive rainfall, opening of dams, and blockage of drainage system, and so on. And the flooding problem is related to SDG 3, 8, 9, 11, and 13. And, our, and the flood victims, they face various challenges in one way or the other. The challenges flood victims face are loss of lives and properties, damage infrastructures, health issues due to contaminated water such as typhoon and cholera. It brought about um, it brought about threats to salmon and aquatic animals. It rendered it brought about scarcity of food which caused famine in the land and it rendered many people homeless and so on and so forth. We did some research on flooding in the year 2012. About 70% of people in Niger Delta were affected in one way or the other due to the flood. A lot of things were destroyed in the water. Then recently, last year 2022, the flood was down 2012. A lot of things were destroyed during the flood period, roads were damaged, like the Oruga Road in Port State. Three bridges in Amasuma were also destroyed, and the family were victims of the flood. The past period during this period, we had to take our things and live inside the water. Living inside the water, there's something else to me. Like, I first of all, I don't move around, I don't visit my friends, I don't get to be in one place throughout the period. And after the flood, People have to start life but due to things they have lost, people don't have to start life because they have lost a lot of their properties, the water. Due to the challenges of flood in Niger Delta, we in my Thompson came up with a solution to help the flooded victims by creating an app called Find. This app will be this app will be linked to the government and non-governmental organizations to help them have access to flood victims so that they can assist and support them like giving them medical care to those of them which were affected by the flood water and also providing food and shelter for them. This app will also this app will also help the app control and all access to the flood victim to enable them to send motivational messages to them to encourage them especially the depressed ones. In conclusion to all of my colleagues have said it is important for us to solve to help solve the problem concerning flood in the society because of the challenges faced by the flood victims in the society. During the flood, many people lost their lives and properties. When they are indoors, they feel depressed and bored because of the water around them, and some are feeling depressed because of their homeless refugees who don't have anywhere to stay. So because of these problems, I and my team members in my storm team, we came up with a solution of solving them by creating an app which we named FIND. FIND app will help in so many ways in solving their problem, such as contacting, helping the flood victims to contact to the non-governmental and governmental organizations for assistance, for example, clothing, shelter, food, and so on and so forth. It will be like a fun, creating a fun atmosphere for them when they are bored to play games and animations, to even read stories. It can be used to enlighten their mood and activate their mood. Finally, to all of us said concerning our app, I believe and hope that my 